Hello, Carrots here. Welcome to my little video showing you how to build a dive lot. Now I'm building mine in sunlit tights. I needed a couple of sims to help me so I made myself a brand new mermaid, Mary Mermaid, and her friend a human sim who's not a mermaid but her name is Betty Mermaid. Now these two are going to help me show you around and explain a few things about what I'm doing as I am going through this tutorial with you. Here's Mary sitting at her table at home at night. Now I'll just tell you a little bit about my computer setup at the moment. I've made a fresh Sims 3 folder, I've installed Sunlit Tides and I've added a few NRAAS mods. Otherwise they is no store content or custom content in my game at this point. I chose Sunlit Tides because Sunlit Tides has a reputation for not being suitable for having dive lots. I've decided to bust that rumour. That's why I'm using Sunlit Tides. You can use any world you like provided it has salt water and has some areas that are sufficiently deep. There's no point trying to build a dive lot in a place where a sim can wade in ankle deep water. You need to have some depth. And in sunlit tides there are quite a few spots with depth. So that's why I've decided to show you this in sunlit tides. However I have built using this method that I'm going to show you I've built successful dive lots in Barnacle Bay and in Cake Island. Now Cake Island is a world made by Rafflong 7 who is a very experienced world builder but she didn't put any dive lots in the world and I had mermaids living there and they needed to swim in salt water. That's why I put a dive lot in Cake Island. Mary and Betty are at home getting to know each other. They've only just arrived in the world. I just came out of create a sim. Poor little Betty. She only got traits because the game wouldn't let me save her without them. She didn't get any clothes changed. I did change her, her out athletic outfit eventually. So here I am looking for a suitable spot in sunlit tides. Now as you can see the water changes colour and that generally indicates depth. So when you look for water look for the dark areas and there's a nice little pool there that I like the look of and I think I might put my dive lot in that spot. Now apart from looking for the depth they've also got to make sure it's routable. As you can see with sunlit tides it was made before seasons and before Al Paradise and there are a lot of areas that sims can't even swim in you know they can wade through slowly But that's the spot I've actually chosen. Once you've chosen your spot, you go into Edit Town and you go to the editor there where you can grab a lot. Now I grabbed a 64 by 64 lot and I placed it in what I thought I wanted it in that little area. Just to give you a bit of extra info, I'll just show you by moving this around a bit. You can see you can't put it down where it's red, it must be green and don't put it in spots where this it's very sandy like there, it's water there but sims don't even swim in that, they just walk through it. So you need it to be in a place where the water is deep and it is not, it is routable. So let's get started. We need to enter some cheats but don't panic because Mary Mermaid is coming along shortly to make sure we've got this all right. First thing, to, you need to open the cheat box and that is in the top left hand corner of the screen as you can see, if you can see me typing up in the top left hand corner. The first, the way to get the cheat box up is to hold down your shift and control keys together while you type the C. Now here's Mary Mermaid to help us out. The first cheat you need to enter is 
testing cheats enabled space true. You leave a space between the end. testing cheats enabled and true. Now you have to do these in the correct order or you won't get the third cheat. It just or the second cheat won't come up unless you've got the first cheat and the third cheat well won't come up unless you've got both the first two. Type in the first cheat testing cheats enabled true and hit enter. Then get the cheat box up again control shift C and type in by debug on and hit enter and then get the cheat box up again control shift C and type in enable lot locking on and hit enter. Remember you can pause at any time if you need more time for any of this. Just pause the video if you need to think about something. The cheats have been done we can move on to the next step where you need to change the lot type. It will currently be a residential lot so in Edit Town choose the selection tool on the top left and change it to community lot and then pick diving area. You'll see there's a lot more lots available to you now that you've got lot locking enabled turned on. Next you need to go into build by mode and you need to be in build mode. And once you get to build mode we'll get Mary Mermaid back to help us again because we're going to flatten the lot. So you need to choose your terrain tool and then the terrain tools come up and I've circled the one you need to click on just once to flatten the lot. And here's me doing it and that's what happens. You now can see the water and the lot is now set up. So we go into Edit Town and save. Now I've cut out a bit of the time it takes to save so you might want to pause it here to wait for your game to save. Once you've saved it you go back to the main menu because we've got to close out of this game. And then once you get it out there you have to go back in. So re relaunch your game and just wait until it has appeared. So you might need to pause the video again until you've got your game open. So once your game's open again, go into Edit Town. There's more work to do. Once you've got a dive light successfully built in a world, I'd recommend that you keep that save special for a save to start new games in, rather than trying to add dive lots to your game from the library. It's just difficult because of the levels but it can be done if you've got the patience. Once you get it into build by mode then go to buy mode. Here's Mary Mermaid to help. Choose sort by function and then you'll see the by debug question mark above it. So click on the question mark. Choose to filter on Island Paradise from the filter at the right hand end and then choose the scuba boy from the miscellaneous tab. We're going to place the scuba boy in the lot. We're also going to put one shark, surface shark spawner there as well just so you can see the levels, the water level where it sits when you do that initially at this point. So here's me doing it. Just put it anywhere you like on the lot. 
Now the surface shark spawner is under the fish spawner tab and it's the one near the end. I only put one there. Now just have a look at the water levels. Go down and have a look. You'll see, it's very hard to see actually, but that red ball is sitting on top of the water and with the shark spawner you can see the water line is just below the body of the shark. Now if you leave it like that you will have sims and fish swimming in the, uh, in the air and we don't really want flying fish and mermaids and boats and snorkelers which I have actually had that happen in my games early on when I was first building dive lots back in 2013 just took me about five years to make a video about it. So once you've done this, go back into Edit Town. And you're going to save the dive lot to your library because we want to keep this dive lot, but we also have to bulldoze it. So save it to your library so you've got it. Now the thing is, we're going to place the dive lot that you made in this location back in the same location. So once you place it back there, don't turn it around or anything, just plonk it down and accept. But that's not going to happen just yet. So here we go, I'm bulldozing the lot after I've saved it to my library. Now fix the lot type because it will have changed to no visitors allowed. So make it diving area again. Got to keep checking on that lot type because it does change on you quite often. Now you need a very important cheat. This is going to solve the skipping in the air problem. Open the cheat window, Control Shift C, and type in the cheat code set imported terrain offset negative 0 0.1. The number is critical, so make sure you type in that particular number for this particular purpose. You can learn more about it in my video on set or imported terrain offset cheat. Now we're ready to put the dive lot that you saved to your library back into the lot that you copied it from. Hit accept, do not rotate the lot because it's back where it came from. Now the reason for doing this is because we put that cheat in set imported terrain offset minus 0.1. So now the lot is a little bit lower than it was when you first made it. And as you can see from the buoy and the shark spawner that the water now le level is now a little higher on them. There ended up being two shark spawners there. For some reason it duplicates. But we need to get rid of them because they will cause you problems if you keep those particular ob objects. The reason for putting them in there in the first place was firstly to show you the water level and secondly to allow us to be able to save the lot to the library. You need to have something on a lot. You can't save a totally empty lot to your library. So you're in buy mode at the moment and you need to go back into edit town. But don't go back into edit town until after you have deleted your boy and your spawners. Otherwise you're going to have a huge problem as you can proceed through the rest of this video and the making of your dive lot. So here I am going into Edit Town. Yeah, you make sure, once you're in Edit Town, make sure that your dive lot is in fact a diving area because it'll go back to no visitors allowed without any problems at all. It just does that. And as soon as you've made it a diving area again, then you can save your file because guess what we're going to close it down and reopen so back to main menu of course if your computer plays up on you and you can't just go back to main menu feel free to close out of the game altogether it's up to you you know how your computer works better than I do I can manage to go back to main menu and come back in again but that could be partly because I've got nothing else in the Sims 3 folder so you open the save again and when it's loaded we will be on the home run. We're nearly there. I do realize you won't be able to be watching the video while you're actually doing this but I have 
gone at a fairly slow pace so you can have a chance to take notes because you're going to need to take notes and I've also put the steps, I've numbered the steps to help you make sure you didn't miss one. So the game opens up again and we are back at the dive lot and we need to go back into edit town and of course we will need to make sure it's still a diving area. go back into build by mode we're going to put a fresh buoy on the lot and we're also going to I'm going to add one shark surface shark spawner and uh, you can put as many as you want depends on how many sharks you want your sims to be fighting on the surface Remember, the more spawners you've got, the more processing power it uses as well. Yes, yeah, so make sure it's a surface shark spawner you use because there's another shark spawner for underwater sharks. You've always got to look at your spawners if they're underwater or land or surface or whatever. Yes, check, see how they are? the water level's gone up to the middle of the shark's body on that spawner? And also it'll be just below that black line on the buoy and the ball of the buoy. See, before it was just sitting on top of the surface, it was hard to see. Now don't forget to set your diving level so that your sims can actually dive at this dive lot. I've made this a level 2. The default is 0 and apparently they can't dive there if it's 0. And go into Edit Town. and save. The next step is the fun one. You just test it. This, I haven't decorated the dive lot in this video because it just was going to take too long. So I'm going to start doing another video shortly which will show us decorating this particular dive lot. But now we're just going to watch my Sims Mary and Betty testing this dive lot to make sure it works. And while they were at it, some townies turned up, so there's not just going to be two sims there, there's a few of them. Oh yes, don't forget to turn your cheats off. You don't want to leave enable lot locking on. You turn that to off, enable lot locking off, and also turn off the set imported terrain offset, make it zero. Now we're going to test. I like this part, especially when it works. So we've got a dive lot in sunlit tides. It's not decorated, but it's going to work because I've tried it and I know it works. And it works in several different worlds that I've tried it in as well using this method. Now Betty's going to get there first because she's going to use a boat. We'll have to wait a while to see Mary turning up. You'll see a few sharks circling as well because we've got a shark spawner there. I only add one. I'm not that scary with my sims with their shark fighting. I have seen a few surface shark fights here comes the boat. See no jump up as it goes over the lot boundary. It does sometimes do a little wiggle but I didn't notice it that time. Here she is. She's never been snorkeling before. She's a brand new sim. So she's going to learn how to snorkel before she can learn how to scuba dive because she's got to be at level 2 in her diving career or in her diving skill before she can 
dive in this lot and she is at level nothing at the moment. Here comes Mary. I'm going to speed it up so she gets there faster. But you can see from her shadow that the water she's in at the moment is quite shallow and it's the paler blue that we rejected as suitable for dive lots. There she goes. Now as she goes, the water change colour changes to see the shadow gets deeper and deeper. So the water's getting deeper. And now she's in deep water. And when she goes across the level of the little boundary, you'll see her little little wiggle. And that's all I've got of this issue of them jumping over the edge of the dive lot. And it's that set imported terrain offset zero min minus zero point one that actually does that trick. Well, I didn't see a wiggle, but I know she must have. So she's gone down. Let's go down and see her in action. There she is. The dive lot has not been decorated, but it, it's there. It's not a very deep one, but it's deep enough. We can put all of our diving de decor that we want down there without any issues. And you can see the shadow of Betty up the top where she's snorkeling, developing her diving skill. And here comes another sim, it's a townie, uninvitedly turning up. So, someone's just caught a found a seashell. So, Mary's had enough, she's going home. No point trying to keep it there. She can't catch any fish or anything. There's nothing down there. There's no spawners. When I do the next video on the decorating of it, we will cover things like all the different types of spawners, all the different places you need to go to to find the different things you can put down there, and the fog emitters that give us the light effects and the little skills of fish that swim around. So it will be a bit to show you, so I thought it would be just too much to show it all in this same video. Once you've got this dive light built, I should have the next video up. Here she is getting to the really shallow stuff and she can't swim anymore, so she's got to wade. As she gets more swimming skills, she will actually wade faster. I've noticed that when I have my sims in the lifeguard career. They get really quick as they get really skilled at it. So there you go, dive lot in sunlit tides. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you have successful dive lots to build from here on in. Happy simming. Happy dive lot building.